Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today I've got a new pair of shoes. Now, this is a special makeup. Uh, it was um, uh, reached out to by a, a couple guys uh, looking to put together a group on these particular boots. These are the Ballway boot from Enzo, and uh, they're very special. They are in a hatch green four and number four quarterman. Uh, so this is my first hatch, hatch, hash grain, excuse me, hatch grain cordovan of an issue. It's also my first uh, ballway boot, first time ordering from Soul Garb, uh, and first time doing a group MTO where everybody just kind of like got together on um, Facebook Messenger. So um, fortunately, these are guys that I know through the show, shoe forums and, and all good guys. Uh, Lorenzo at uh, Soul Garb has been great to work with. Uh, we did a lot of custom fit on this, and um, so I'm really excited to try them out. Uh, but first, we've got to do the unboxing. So let's get to just a regular box, which is here. Let's see what's inside. So, Enzo. They make fantastic shoes, and this is my first my very first pair of boots and my first shell now um a friend of mine has said um the shell guy uh he has said that the shell coming from enzo and from um some of the other higher end makers is a much much higher quality and there's no denying this shell is fantastic see the same kind of pull tab as on my gaziano and girling um thorps uh, now, somebody opted uh, in the group. They really wanted brass. I'm not a fan of brass, but uh, I went for it. Uh, I'm trying to be a good citizen. They also didn't want to do toe plates, so I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. We did a uh, a difference from going to a single waist to a or a single sole to a double sole at the waist, which was kind of cool, and I think it came out really nice. It's got the the bevel on the waist, which is nice. Looks kind of like a fiddle, but not quite. Uh, typical sole from Enzo. Very, very high quality. Uh, Enzo's usually come with a shoe horn, which is nice. Not a boot horn, but that's okay because I have a boot horn and uh, don't really know what I would do with another. And so here we have the other. Now, the color of these is hard to describe. Um, you know, everybody has different definitions of the colors, different brands, all call them different things. Um, Corween, um, and I think that this actually comes from Alden, uh, or, or Alden takes it from Corween directly, but they always talk about the numbers. And the numbers, uh, say this is number four, but I would say that like, um, Carmina would call this ruby red. Um, it is a very reddish brown, right? So, uh, and I'm just getting close here with the lights so you can see just how this is. Now, you know, shell is one of those materials that is really going to pop in direct sun. And so there's going to be a, a big difference in lighting. So uh, I'm going to do some pictures for my Instagram outside. But now, the in the meantime, let's take a look there. Look at that grain. This is the first time I've gotten a grain on shell, and it is super exciting. Now, I was expecting that the shafts on these to be unlined, and they're not, uh, which is a little bit of a surprise. So that's going to be something that I'm going to have to look at a little bit more carefully. But all in all, this is just a beautiful, beautiful pair of boots and I'm very excited for them now they are quite pricey um, you know MTOs are, are tricky right you get all kinds of different pieces to them um, and I'll, I'll look for my invoice and, and I'll share it with you but I think that all said and done uh, with the trees and these have Enzo trees in them um, I think I was at around 1400 bucks for these um, it was, it, it was, it was a lot. Now, if, if I look at these, these trees, which are on this last are boot trees, um, but they're not 
there's another pair of boot trees that was available that was um, more like a bespoke pair, like the three piece where, you know, it kind of breaks in like that. Um, and that is not what these are. First one I looked at these, um, as I'm looking at them, taking them out of the box, I thought maybe these were from, uh, these were just not pulled in all the way, but if you look at them, they are uh, all the way in. And now I'm gonna look like an idiot trying to take these out, but here we go, look at that. And that is the 74945 last, but for a boot. Now, isn't that cool? Now, um, Enzo just released these, um, this particular last um, four trees um, recently. Um, I actually have a pair of um, boots in hatch grain. Now, these are in calf, or these aren't boots, obviously, these are shoes um, that are also on this last. And I just got these trees today. And of course, they're the shoe. And uh, while I'm talking to you, I'm, I'm sitting here fighting with them, trying to get the tree out of the shoe. Um, you know, it's a tight fit as it should be. Um, and the uh, the uppers of these of these shoes, as you can see here, um, are pretty tight. So just getting them out is is a little tricky. But uh, that is, I'm gonna just pause it. Yeah, it only took me like a minute, but I was able to save you that minute. And there you go. Now you can see how the trees are different for the shoe tree versus the boot tree. So interesting in my mind um, that they're, uh, they're quite so close. And you notice this doesn't have the lip that you have here, which prevents you from opening it, even uh, you know pushing against this joint there so it's uh, a little bit different but anywho these boots are just incredible and very happy to have them now uh this actually says enzo banafe it always says uh laureata mano and then this one says for Solgarp, which you can see in there i don't know why it won't quite come into focus. There you go. So it's a, uh, it's a beautiful boot. I'm hoping that uh, I get many years of uh, great wear out of it. Thanks for watching.